Assalamualaikum uh, Let's uh, continue our ODL lecture uh, for chapter 5 uh, for, uh, Today our topic is about isentropic flow through nozzles Okay, So in this uh, uh, subtopic uh, the nozzles means it can be converging nozzle Okay, So it can be uh, converging nozzle And it can be converging and diverging nozzle. Okay, so converging, diverging nozzle. Okay, so um, for the real application, application for this uh, converging or converging diverging nozzle. Uh, this can be found in steam and gas turbine and aircraft and also space uh, craft propulsion, propulsion uh, system okay and then uh, for this um, uh, uh, topic uh, for this subtopic what is considered really important in order to identify uh, the condition after the flow exit the nozzle is uh, related to back pressure okay so uh, back pressure pb this is back pressure pb it is uh, the pressure pressure applied at the nozzle discharge region okay on the exit uh, velocity and then the mass flow rate and the pressure distribution along the uh, nozzle can be uh, identified okay so uh, in this uh, isentropic flow through uh, the nozzles uh, how to set the back pressure is really important okay as okay so now uh, let's analyze this figure okay so let, let's say this nozzle converging and eh? now uh, for this video it is uh, also for converging nozzle uh, let's say this converging nozzle is attached to a reservoir okay so this reservoir uh, consider it is a very large reservoir so uh, that uh, velocity velocity for, for the reservoir is zero and since the velocity of the reservoir is zero so the uh, reservoir pressure uh, temperature is equal to uh, stagnation pressure and stagnation temperature respectively okay so uh, if the velocity is zero or negligible uh, the if the, the pressure or the static pressure is equal to stagnation pressure the same goes for the static uh, temperature uh, it will be equal to uh, static uh, sorry the stagnation uh, temperature okay okay so now as you can see in this figure we have this let's say this position one and then this position two which is uh, at the back pressure pb is uh, at the exit for of of this nozzle there are back pressure and then this is pe stand for exit uh, pressure okay uh, uh, in this figure which is a uh, static pressure or the ratio of static pressure of uh, uh, stagnation pressure uh, versus the uh, position of this uh, uh, nozzle okay converging nozzle okay so the first um, uh, first uh, point so this is uh, first point one two three four and five okay so at the first point if let's say uh, back pressure okay if the back pressure is equal to the uh, stagnation pressure okay so the, the there are no variation of pressure okay so as you can see the pressure is uh, 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 uniform okay no no pressure different mean that no flow okay so uh, no pressure uh, if back pressure equal to p uh, stagnation pressure okay so now uh, for position two we uh, decrease the back pressure okay we decrease the pre back pressure but still the back back pressure is uh, higher than p p star which is uh, critical pressure at the at the throat okay you you, you i think you already know the star or uh, refer to the critical uh, pressure at the at the throat ok 
Okay, so at this uh, condition, uh, there are um, variation of uh, pressure different. Okay, so you can see uh, the pressure at point two is uh, um, uh, lower than uh, pressure at point point one. Okay, now we uh, reduce, uh, keep reduce the pressure. Okay, keep reduce the back pressure. Now we reduce the back pressure up to the uh, equal to the P. Um, uh, P, uh, what is called uh, pressure, uh, critical pressure, which is uh, pressure at the uh, minimum area or pressure at the at the throat. If we keep, uh, if we set the back pressure equal to pressure critical, okay, uh, which is the pressure required uh, to increase the fluid velocity to the speed of sound at the exit plane or throat, okay. At this condition, okay, when uh, condition number three, when PB equal to P uh, critical, it is uh, meaning that uh, what the required pressure, the pressure required uh, required to increase. the fluid velocity to the speed of sound to the speed of sound at the exit plane Okay, so at this condition, uh, the mass flow rate, the mass flow, uh, reaches, reach um, a maximum value. Okay. to be choke flow okay so uh, if we set the pressure equal to uh, the back pressure equal to critical pressure so it, it is uh, it can also known as choke flow C H O K E K E D okay so this is what happened when uh, we set the back pressure equal to P uh, critical. Okay, so remember uh, that uh, P critical means that uh, Mach number at this condition is equal to one. Okay, so Mach number is velocity equal, uh, divided by speed of sound. So that's why at this condition the pressure uh, it is uh, defined as the pressure required. To increase the fluid velocity, we need to increase the, this fluid velocity uh, to the speed of sound, okay, at the exit plane, okay, because it, it is now uh, we because we need to uh, increase the fluid velocity, we will be equal to C, so that Mach number will be equal to one, and then at this stage, the mass flow reach a maximum uh, value, okay, and the flow is said to be choked. And then further reducing the uh, uh, the back pressure, okay, back pressure. Further reducing the back pressure, uh, it will does not result in any additional changes in the pressure distribution. So no such pressure distribution or anything else along the nozzle nozzle line. Okay, so. Uh, for this converging nozzle, we can de determine mass flow rate uh, through a, a nozzle based on this equation. Okay, mass flow fl flow rate or maximum mass flow rate m dot max equal to this uh, equation. Okay, so that is uh, when we want to relate the uh, the converging nozzle uh, if we de keep decreasing the back back pressure okay so for the next next slide yeah we want to identify in terms of mass uh, flow rate okay
okay uh, mass flow rate and also uh, the exit uh, plane uh, pressure okay so uh, as you can see here uh, uh, this is uh, point 0.1 okay point 0.1 point 0.2 point 0.3 point 0.4 and point 0.5 which is uh, the same goes here point 0.1 point 0.2 point 0.3 Point four and point point five. Okay, so at point one, uh, when PB equal to P, PO, uh, which is back pressure, we set back uh, back pressure equal to the stagnation pressure. So no uh, pressure different. Mean that that's why no flow rate. That's why uh, M dot M dot is zero at point number number one. Okay. So this is the P star over P zero, which is at the critical region. Okay, so we if we keep decrease the back pressure, okay, we keep decrease the back pressure, point two. Okay, we keep decrease the back pressure, and then uh, the mass flow rate also increase, and then at point three we set the back pressure equal to critical pressure. Okay, so what happened here? Uh, just uh, recall uh, previous slide at this condition uh, the mark number is forced to be uh, unity so in order to force the mark number to be uh, to, to to be unity at or one we need to increase uh, this pressure is required to increase the fluid velocity so that it is equal to the uh, speed of speed of sound okay and then uh, at this uh, wheel uh, point three, it is said to be uh, maximum mass flow rate. Okay, so at this condition, it is said to be a choke condition. Okay, choke condition. And then uh, further reducing the back pressure. Okay, further reducing the back pressure uh, will not affect the mass flow rate. Okay, the mass flow rate is constant after uh, achieve the choke condition okay so as you can see uh, further decreasing the back pressure uh, which is uh, back pressure is uh, uh, lower than uh, p uh, critical the mass flow rate is constant okay so from this figure we can uh, conclude that uh, the exit okay exit pe which is exit uh, pressure will be equal to back pressure if okay if this in this region which is p back pressure uh, larger or equal to p uh, uh, p critical okay so first condition uh, p as it will be equal to back pressure when uh, back pressure equal ataupun sama dengan uh, p critical Okay. The second condition, P as it will be equal to P critical when uh, PB less than P critical, which is in this this region. Okay, which is this is region number two, and then this is region number number one. Okay. So uh, this figure, it is uh, exit pressure uh, PE over stagnation pressure uh, ratio of exit pressure over stagnation pressure versus uh, back pressure over uh, over stagnation pressure. Okay. So at point one, uh, when we set uh, PE, okay. Now PE equal to P PB. So it is point. Uh, it is equal to to one. Okay. Uh, further reducing uh, the pressure. Okay. Further reducing the pressure at point two. So now PE equal to P um, uh, equal to P PB. Okay. At point three, it is equal uh, P as it now equal to P P critical. And then point four point five. Uh, which is region number two p as it equal to p p critical okay so uh, for this pressure uh, sorry for this figure 
It is a deviation of the mass flow rate uh, through a nozzle with inlet stagnation uh, properties. Okay, PT refer to throat, uh, pres uh, throat pressure and then uh, this is mass flow rate. In this region, mark number throat is equal to 1. Okay, so after choke condition, mark number throat equal to 1 and then uh, in this region, mark number throat is uh, less than 1 which is sub subsonic. So, um, increase if we increase the stagnation pressure and also increase the uh, stagnation temperature, uh, M dot will be increased. Okay, so increase in P, uh, P, P stagnation, decrease in T, uh, T stagnation. Okay, or, or both. Okay, so that is the variation, uh, variation of. Uh, not variation, it is uh, isentropic uh, flow through the uh, nozzle. Okay, so now um, uh, this is very important because we need to identify uh, ratio of P uh, P critical over stagnation uh, pressure. Okay, so uh, based on uh, uh, table A thirteen, table A. 13 for uh, this book which is Chengel table where is the table 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 12.2 or uh, in the uh, table A A13 uh, for Chengel book Chengel reference Okay, so P ratio of um, critical uh, pressure over stagnation pressure it is uh, 0 0.5283 8, So, uh, why it is really important Okay, so this pressure ratio is really important in order uh, to set the exit uh, uh, pressure okay or back uh, pressure okay so let's say if the as uh, the back pressure okay, if the back pressure is um, uh, higher than this ratio 0 0.5 to 83 okay in this region so and at this condition there are no uh, choke it is no choke condition okay at this region it is choke okay so at this region uh, p uh, uh, p is uh, p temperature or density it is equal to uh, uh, critical uh, condition okay so um, uh, by doing next example we can uh, understand how to uh, obtain oh. okay so this is the uh, part of the table a uh, 13 okay for air for ideal uh, gas which is air k equal to 1.4 okay so as i said uh, the most important is about p star over p uh, p stagnation which is at one my number equal to 1 okay at this condition uh, p star over p stagnation equal to 0 0.528 at 3 if it is higher than this value it is not a choke condition if it, if it is lower than this value it is choke condition okay so uh, this is uh, some uh, equation that can be used to obtain the area for example obtain the mark number uh, critical and then uh, mark number uh, same equation so mark number critical mark number star is the local velocity non-dimensionalized with respect to the sonic velocity at throat okay so this is at throat mark number is the local velocity non-dimensionalized with respect to the local sonic velocity okay so this star mean that it is referred to the throat which is at the minimum uh, area.
Okay, so let's try to solve for this example. Okay, so uh, effect of back pressure on mass flow, uh, flow rate. Air at 1 megapascal, 1 megapascal and 600 uh, degree C. Okay, so this is not 400, this is 600 degree C. Uh, enters a converging nozzle as shown in this figure with velocity equal to 150 meter per second. Determine the mass flow rate through the nozzle for a nozzle uh, mass flow rate which is m dot. Okay, uh, through the nozzle for a nozzle throat area. Okay, so a throat given uh, a throat equal to 50. meter square when the back pressure equal to 0 0.7 megapascal and B 0 0.4 megapascal okay so the question asks you to find mass flow flow rate for A and, and B okay so now this is very important Okay, velocity of 150 meter per, per second. So why is it uh, the velocity given is very important? Because uh, in order to find stagnation properties, if the velocity is given, we need to consider that uh, dynamic temperature, for example. Eh? So uh, to find stagnation temperature, T0, it is equal to T static plus V squared over 2C. CP. Okay, so T static equal to uh, 600 uh, degree C or uh, T equal to 600 degree C plus 273 which is uh, uh, 873 uh, Kelvin. Okay, so that is the temperature uh, 873 plus V square 150 divide by 2 cp cp for air is 1.005 uh, 1.005 kilo eh, kilo uh, okay so uh, we will we, we obtain the temperature stagnation temperature equal to at the inlet eh, stagnation temperature at the inlet is uh, uh, 884 Kelvin. Okay, so we obtain the temperature. Uh, next, we can uh, we can uh, uh, calculate the P uh, stagnation pressure. Okay, so stagnation pressure equal to uh, P O R over P equal to T O over T. Okay over k minus 1 okay so it is equal to p p is 100 kilopascal 1 megapascal is 1 t0 this is 884 kelvin temperature here temperature is um, 873 Okay, so K is uh, specific heat ratio is uh, 1.4 for gas for air and then 1.4 minus 1 is 0 0.0.4 okay so we will obtain POI P stagnation at inlet equal to uh, 1.045 mega mega Pascal okay so there is a uh, stagnation uh, temperature for uh, stagnation temperature and stagnation pressure okay so now uh, we need uh, to identify okay we need to identify either this uh, at poi which is um, uh, uh, for the stagnation pressure at this 
uh, inlet POR uh, it is uh, less or higher than a critical pressure ratio at the at the throat so that we can uh, identify either the back pressure equal to uh, P as it or uh, sorry P as it equal to back pressure or P as it is equal to P uh, P star or P critical okay so to identify that uh, first we need to identify the pressure the given pressure is um, uh, where is the pressure back pressure is 0.7 okay so for A uh, PP is 0. 7 uh, mega pascal okay so uh, based on this figure okay so pb over p p0 p determine pb over p0 so pb is 0 0.7 mega POI is 1.0.45 mega. Okay, so we get the ratio is uh, 0 0.67. Okay, so from this ratio we can uh, identify. Okay, at this, uh, if we set the back pressure equal to 0 0.7 mega pascal, it is um, at the exit plane which is uh, 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 P as it so at this uh, condition uh, PB okay, PB uh, PB over PO higher than P critical over P PO. Hence, at this condition, it is not a choke, choke flow, not choke. Okay. So, in order to find M dot, okay, in order to find uh, M dot, we need to use uh, uh, either we need to use um, table A to team, or we can use. Um, equation okay we can use equation uh, that also uh, available uh, in, where is the equation okay so this is the equation we can use this equation because now p as it okay is not equal to p uh, is is not it now p as it is equal to p p back pressure because it is not a choke condition so that if we want to find mark number for example we can use all this equation okay so uh, this uh, based on uh, table A thirteen, based on table A thirteen, uh, P. So now because uh, P B, because P B over P zero is uh, higher than uh, greater than the critical pressure over PO so at this stage PB equal to P P as it okay so uh, in this case uh, P throat equal to PB which is 0 0.7 and then PT over P0 which is here uh, therefore the flow is not choked as I mentioned before and then from table A13 okay table A13 uh, we can determine PT over P0 is 0 0.67 at this uh, ratio you need to interpolate PT over P0 uh, we can uh, determine the mark number throat equal to 0 0.778 
and temperature ratio equal to 0 0.8992 okay so now in order to find mass flow rate because our question is to find mass flow rate it is equal to rho uh, t a uh, t multiplied with v v t okay so now uh, we need to determine uh, velocity okay we need to determine velocity because uh, we can determine rho we can determine the area is already given so to find a uh, mass flow rate first we need to find the uh, rho okay rho based on ideal gas equation uh, p equal to rho t r uh, rt okay so now uh, t equal to 0 0.892 multiply with t0 destination which is equal to um, 884 kelvin so t throat equal to 788.5 Kelvin. Uh, so rho throat equal to PT divided by RT. T. So PT is uh, 0 0.67 uh, multiplied with P0, which is uh, 700, or it is already given, already given at A. Uh, 0 0.7 okay 0 0.7 megapascal so it is 0 0.7 megapascal r which is 0 0.287 0 0.287 kilo And then uh, TT is seven point five, so we get rho T based on this okay. So now uh, we can um, obtain uh, VT okay because mat number uh, mat number equal to V over over C okay so uh, V throat equal to mat number C so mat number throat is 0 0.778 multiply with C which is square root of KRT if you remember 1.4 R is 0 0.287 temperature is 788 so we obtain VT equal to um, 437.9 meter per second okay so m dot equal to uh, rho t a throat and v t so m dot for zero uh, if the back pressure is, uh, is set to 700 kilopascal equal to 6.77 kilogram per second okay so uh, you may try to uh, calculate this mark number and it uh, mark number throat or temperature throat over temperature stagnation uh, using uh, all the equation of uh, for example uh, using this equation okay you may use this equation in order to find t0 over t and then to find mark mark number Okay. Uh, now uh, next is at 
uh, B which is back pressure is now reduced to zero uh, now back pressure is reduced to 0 0.4 and then to find the pre back pressure ratio of uh, stagnation pressure 0 0.4 divided by 1.0.45 we get 0 0.383 okay now PB our P0 is less okay less than uh, P critical over P P0 so this is choke flow okay since it is choke flow okay so uh, the flow uh, uh, as it uh, the plane or the throat and then uh, at the sonic condition at the sonic condition and then uh, at this uh, it is mark number also equal to one okay so again uh, uh, using uh, since we want to find straight away we went we, we want to find uh, the mass flow rate we can use this equation okay so we can use this equation because now we know that mat number uh, sorry we can we want to not mat number we want to find mass flow rate mass flow rate okay so this is this is uh, the equation that can be used when uh, the mark number uh, is uh, uh, when uh, the uh, it is reaching choke condition okay so based on this slide okay so straight away use equation this is area for the uh, throat and then p0 it is one zero uh, stagnation pressure k rt0 and then straight away you will got uh, 7.10 kilogram per second for choke condition so this is the maximum mass flow rate through the nozzle for the specified inlet condition and nozzle throat area for this for this case okay so i think that's all for the uh, isentropic uh, flow through nozzle for the converging for the con con uh, uh, for the converging nozzle okay in the next video uh, uh, it is it's more uh, uh, complicated and uh, not complicated it is more uh, exciting because it is uh, not only converging nozzle now it is combination between converging and diverging nozzle so what happened to how to set the back pressure and then at this condition uh, which is uh, converging diverging nozzle we will uh, um, uh, ex we will uh, found we will find a new condition which is normal normal sh uh, shock in the uh, in the diverging uh, nozzle okay so thank you see you in the next video